Hi guys and welcome back. Today I want to bring you along on one of my downsizing processes because as you know we've downsized most of our stuff and we've gotten it down to just the basics. But every year or every two years, sometimes more if it's clothes, but with shoes and scarves and bags things just kind of accumulate because styles change and the seasons change. So our entranceway right now is getting really crowded and I'm getting a little bit claustrophobic. So I think it's time for me to go through some of that stuff and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. All right, let's do this. This is not a day where I have to throw out half of my stuff. So in that sense, it's not that difficult. But on the other hand, the stuff that I have left is stuff that I really use or that I really appreciate. So when you really get down to those core items, it can be kind of difficult to get rid of the rest of the stuff. But let's take a look. The stuff that I'm going to be going through today are my shoes, scarves and hats for winter, and all of my bags and backpacks and stuff. This actually looks like a lot more than I thought I had, even though I knew that I had a lot of stuff. But I think what I'm going to do first is just to organize everything and then it's easy for me to get an overview. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so this is a lot of shoes, but keep in mind that it's all of my summer shoes, all of my winter shoes, and my workout shoes. I'm going to start with the obvious ones that I never really use or never like to use, which are these ones. I don't remember why I bought them, but I haven't worn them that much and they're already falling apart, so you're gonna have to go. The second pair of obvious ones for me are these ones. They're from 2006 and they're completely worn out and falling apart. So I don't know why, they, why I even have these anymore. Yuck. This is just the winter like loafer thingy that I wear at home, but the other one's missing. So, bye bye. I have high heel shoes, but I really don't wear them that often. So when I do, I usually wear these black ones. And just because they're the style of them, I really like them. And I like that they have a heel that's enclosed, which is something that I don't like in these ones. Also, it's rarely warm enough in Denmark for me to wear these. And when I travel, I usually bring these flat ones. So these ones are gonna go. Another pair of shoes that I feel like style-wise is outdated are these ones. So the ones, they're still in pretty good shape, but I just don't want them anymore. Bye. Okay, so I have one pair of flat sandals left. I have one pair of high heels. These ones I might get rid of as well, but I'm not completely sure yet, just because I like that everything isn't just black. These are my running shoes, so can't get rid of those. These ones and these ones are kind of my summer when it's raining, not very good weather, but I want to wear high heel shoes and these are the ones that I use all the time. They're going to have to be changed out for something else probably next summer, but I'm going to keep them right now. Back here I have my fall winter boots and these are my, like this is like everyday boots. These ones are when there's heavy snowfall. I know, they're really dirty. Maybe I should clean them off before I put them in here. So that's the shoes. Moving on to scarves and hats. There are some items here that I know right away that I'm definitely keeping. And that would be for me all of my three scarves. I know that three might sound like a lot, but it's winter in Denmark forever. And I really need something to change with, otherwise I'm gonna go crazy. So this one is a really huge, big, fluffy one. And this one is a colored, really bright colored one. Eh, makes me happy to wear that. I love colors, as you, as you know. And then I have this one. This one is really closely woven so it's really tight and it's really good if I'm biking and there's a lot of wind and this is also one that I sometimes travel with so I use it as blankets and everything so this one stays this one is Morton's and I know that he just got it last year and he wants to keep it I have three hats actually I have this one this one and this one this one has kind of weird shape uh, it has like a thing at the top where it pokes out, 
So it's really soft and the yarn is really good, but it's just not that nice. This one, I actually made it myself. And it's not that I don't like it, it's just that it's not working. <laughs> this one doesn't have any elastic on it, so it's not really working on my head. So these two are going. There are two of these like kind of normal hats and I'm gonna keep those because we always end up losing one. I actually think we have one more somewhere. So three of these very thin beanies, but they're really good for winter. There's one of these. It's a lonely rider, so bye bye. And these ones are really kind of disgusting. I don't know what we've been doing with these, but it looks like we've been digging or something. They're really dirty and worn out, and they're definitely not gonna last another season. Then I have my leather gloves, which I'm keeping, definitely. Goes in my pile. I think these are more than not mine. I think you might want to keep those, just in case, so I'm not gonna get rid of those. Then we have a pair of kind of like winter ski gloves and we're keeping them because they're water and wind resistant and everything so they're gonna stay as well. This one is a hat for one of Morton's jackets. He took it off. I don't know if he wants to keep it so I'm gonna ask him but I'm gonna put it at the bottom so far. Getting closer. So next up is bags. Okay there's a lot more stuff here than I thought there would be and mostly just because of all of these things. I have a slight suspicion that it might be our roommates, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these. They're all these reusable fabric bags and shoe bags and stuff, but some of them might be ours, but in my opinion, these all go. I am gonna keep this one bag because we use this for grocery shopping instead of buying new plastic bags every time. Next up, this is Morton's. I can't get rid of it. It's his computer bag. This one, I'm not getting rid of. I love it. It's my leather bag and it fits perfectly for a day trip. My iPad slides right in there, a bottle of water and a little snack. It fits perfect and it looks good. This one's the same. I use it a lot when I travel to cities. It's perfect for my passport and my wallet and a pair of sunglasses. I am actually looking for something that's a little lighter because this is a very heavy one. So this one might be leaving me within the next year, but I have to find a perfect replacement first. This one I use a lot for weddings, so I'm not going anywhere. This one is worn out and I'm kind of sick of looking at it. And plus I hardly ever bring enough to fill this one up. So this one, it's time to say goodbye. This one I haven't used for three years, so it might be time to part with it. This East Pack we actually use a lot instead of a suitcase, and Morton's been using it. We have another one that's the same brand, but it's slightly smaller. So I think we're only gonna keep one of them. Either that or he's gonna have to give up his bag that he uses for the gym and then use this one instead because we have way too many. But I can't throw it out right now. This is what I'm keeping. This is what I'm getting rid of. How often I go through a certain area completely depends on what the items are. I don't go through my kitchen very often and my shoes and the stuff that I showed you today, I only go through it maybe once a year, but most likely every two years. So naturally there's gonna be a lot more stuff and a lot more stuff that's a lot more worn out. This is really what living more simply means to me when it comes to things. I'm excited to put these things back now on the shelves and in the drawers and actually be able to quickly find what I need to grab and not have to dig through a lot of stuff and that nothing is gonna come falling out of my face when I open a drawer or cupboard, which is a really a plus for me. So let me know in the comments if you've tried this downsizing or if it's something you want to try out. I would love to hear you guys' feedback and how you do. Till next time, bye. The struggles when you don't agree on downsizing. Yeah, because usually it's when you're a couple, one person gets the idea and then yeah. sometimes you're lucky that the other person just kind of gets the idea right away and jumps on board. But a lot of the times you have to do some convincing. So we've defined four different areas that we think that might help you guys.